Good day, good day! <laughs> How the honk are y'all? Welcome to Roverland. We have got a treat for you today. We're going to be looking at this casting right here, but um, it's going to be uh, this casting. Yes, the new Matchbox Moving Parts opening uh, doors. Yeah, opening parts, moving parts, and it's the 2019 Land Rover Vogue SE. Now, we uh, earlier had seen it in this Matchbox 50th Anniversary Super Fast. That's the first time we saw this casting. And um, we took a look at that. And uh, I think I got a video up there. We're going to shoot that video up there right here soon. So uh, make sure you check that video out as well, okay? And uh, if we didn't show you then... We will show you now the blue one, and it has the opening part, which is the rear tailgate. Now, the interesting part is these uh, these big honking wheels on there, they really kind of rub, and it's kind of hard to... You can hear about, they, they just rub, because they're, they're real riders, they're two-piece, so one rubber with the insert but they rub a little bit on the back the back uh the back end so uh yeah i'm not really sure what's going on there matchbox uh didn't quite do some uh testing on the uh floor on how these roll so yeah they don't roll all that well anyway let's get into the new one here these are uh i've been picking these up every once in a while occasionally I'm finding them at stores. So I've got a few. I got uh, five of them here. And uh, sorry for the glare there. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at one close up, all right? I got this one pre cut. I think I uh, opened this on, uh, up on a, uh, has a very nice uh, insert with the other one. These uh, retail uh, for like two something, 290 something. Now this is uh, the other one here. This was like a $5 car because of the real riders, the box, the moving parts. Whereas um, this one here is uh, price point under $3. And uh, sorry, that black just does not show up so well. And now we're in focus, so maybe it shows up a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, so it really, really nice. They're about the same, they're the same thing as far as deco and stuff like that, other than the, the no rear rider tires. And um, yeah, just a nice, and you can see that these, I don't know if that's 3D printed. See the uh, veins there in that plastic rear? So I don't know if they're 3D printing that. I've never really seen that on, uh, molded plastic but they paint it it's it's um a clear kind of a smoke clear plastic uh just a hue to it but then then uh they paint it which uh, i'm assuming uh separate and then they assemble it you know so it's kind of, kind of an extra step there for matchbox oh then i dropped the thing oh man <laughs> i gotta get a I gotta get a piece of carpet over here because I drop stuff every once in a while. Carpet so it doesn't land on the hard concrete floor here at Roverland. So anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this bugger and uh, the way to do it right is to take it apart. Yeah, that's right. Now I have already uh, done this one uh, before and uh, we'll just take a look at this one real quick before we get to the black one. But uh, very, very nice. The um, the rear window just is uh, kind of set in there. It hooks on a piece of uh, metal tab there. Then the window kind of sets in there like that. And that has also a tab too to kind of hold that rear door from uh, falling out. Okay, you got that? Oh, I think so. 
Oh boy, now the rear door doesn't want to open or close. I must have something goof, goofed up in there. Anyway, here's the interior that sits on top of the base with the wheels that are in there crimped over with the three prong wheels. Here's the base. Now, this is the Velar SE. And uh, I know that there is some uh, different, now this one calls it uh, the long wheel base, the Range Rover long wheel base. So yeah, so but that's really what it is. And I think they finally got this one uh, to say exactly what it is, the Vogue SE. So that's kind of cool. So let's uh, throw that aside. And uh, yeah, you ready? Did you, uh, <laughs> are you ready for this? Cause uh, if you're not, look away. If you're squeamish of heart, we're gonna go right into this. We are gonna drill this one apart. It's just a one rivet and it's on it it's got a tab metal tab on the uh, tail end so it's just one rivet so this should go pretty easily i got my uh big old handy dandy milwaukee drill here i'm gonna turn that around maybe we can bring that down so we can see what we're doing here a little bit huh sorry for the earthquake here but we're gonna just drill right into this bugger and see nice and slow and steady take a look here how we did oh yeah just a little bit more down you can kind of press it a little bit one way or the other to kind of get that rivet all the way off boy we are just having a hard time focusing today aren't we kids all right so there we go that should just pop right off we're going to split it between the body and the bias there we go set this aside and here it is. This is the regular wheels. And uh, yeah, very, very nice. If we could focus on what we're looking at right here instead of the background, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> All right, now you know that this is a metallic paint job to it. Very, very cool. Got uh, about the same colored glass as uh, the other one. So they've got the door there, rear door. Take a look at the glass. Yeah, it looks about the same. Now the interior is different. This has got a gray charcoal interior. So very kind of cool that way. Versus the tan interior. Very kind of cool set that aside and then here's the base now the same same kind of construction as the uh the other one with the real riders no real big difference there so a special today is we're going to see if we can do a little wheel swap with this huh let's see what we can do i don't know if i got everything that i need here uh oh i didn't bring over my exacto knife see if my shipping knife can do the same thing as my exacto knife yeah there we go i just cut one of the little tabs there little fingers just a little bit hopefully not too much so then it kind of snaps back in there there we go all right i hope you're following along is that staying in focus and not uh on the backdrop not too bad not too bad okay all right well I've got these wheels, and they come from the uh, old Range Rover uh, from uh, Matchbox. We're going to try those first. Holy cow, those those axles are... Whoa! Oh, drop that too! Well, I tell you, I'm dropping everything today. <laughs> all right. Well, those axles are a little bit long, but that's all right. I think we'll be able to work it out. Going to use the back side here just to see how it looks. See, we pop this in here. Don't want to push on the, uh, you know, it's something how these steel axles are uh, so hard to cut, but then when you go to push them in, boy, they're easy to bend. It's like, what? What in the world? I just pushed a little bit. Now my axles are bent. You got to be kidding. All right, let's see if these gray wheels are going to look any, any good on this car. Now they're a little bit smaller, right? 
maybe a little bit smaller i don't know we'll see we'll see and uh, let's switch it up let's put a gray interior in there yeah black with the the camel gray interior and i think we got to turn that around because we got the front to the back and the back to the front <laughs> all right and while we're here we're going to uh put in the uh rear hatch put that in there glass is the same so we can just put that in there there we go i get that around are you guys following me here all right oh boy look at this baby here oh we gotta do this like this oh man we gotta get that interior underneath that tab there we go and we got to get the tab underneath that tab there that there there we are hey that's not too bad those uh wheels kind of match the gray fin the shark gills there doesn't it and with that nice gray uh tan interior now kind of lightens it up a little bit better i kind of like that like it like it a lot and it rolls it rolls nice pretty nice so now we've made our own real rider swap there pretty cool pretty cool hey uh if you guys don't mind how this is kind of uh you know uh yeah using the same kind of wheels as it came with you know and just a little bit different uh but yeah that is sharp that is sharp I suppose it'd be sharper if they were uh, black too, you know, but uh, that is pretty sharp. Um, you know what I got? You guys got time. Let's see what these look like. I got this one here. This is a Jaguar and uh, the real riders. These uh, uh, were on sale because, uh, what was it? Kmart went out of deal, went out of deal. Yeah. So I uh, picked up some real riders on uh, special because they were uh, going out of business. So let's see what it would look like if we put in these gold ones and they'll be practically about the same size, maybe not. Now this is uh, something that I, I wanna tell you guys, this is something that I would like to do more here on the channel is get into more customizing and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty popular a time rider and uh, Paulie over at fat guys production and uh, Rob matchbox garage uh, Heavy metal 164. He, he doesn't do too much, but he's still a, the grandfather of us all <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, Jim Silva Yeah, and that crazy Canadian too. I watched some of his stuff yeah but uh yeah there you go we want to do more of that but uh we got to grow the channel a little bit more get through the old collection of uh the land rover collection we're still going through that too which is a uh, vital part of the of the uh channel is going through that and seeing what people have for that and then all of a sudden now i can't get this back on but there we go oh boy there we are yeah let's see if we can adjust this just a little bit more here and see if we can get a nice shot of that yeah maybe a little bit more customizing and um whatnot sorry about that moving the camera all around uh not too bad it almost matches the uh interior there but uh yeah the wheels are a little bit a little bit smaller so yeah not so cool not so cool all right let's go let's go we gotta switch it back and then let's get out of here all right <laughs> yeah you know sometimes you win and sometimes you don't huh yeah that didn't work out so well yeah i didn't like that all right let's uh oh let's get back here whoa no the other way let's get back here so you can see what i'm doing just get this pop back in here the rear the rears are hold in there real good get the fronts on this here probes up here the axle hold downs there you go so anyway yeah if you guys would like to see customizing done on this channel uh, drop me a comment down below and see what we can get going here uh and what kind of customizing would you like to see 
uh, simple wheel swaps, paint jobs. Uh, I haven't even showed you my uh, whole Zamac collection, which is, uh, you know, all my uh, bare metal uh, stripped down stuff that I do. And uh, yeah, really kind of cool. All right, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for joining me, taking a look at the uh, Matchbox. So uh, you can't see that. The Matchbox Moving Parts 2018 Range Rover Evogue. That's right. That's where it's at. All right, I'm out of here. Come over on Facebook, Roverland, and on Instagram at Roverland Channel. And as always, remember... Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.